Hey friends, welcome back to the channel Learn and Earn. Myself Dayanand. So I'm, I'm here with uh, Excel VBA 2016, a beginners to advanced uh, tutorial in 30 days. And moving on to the video part 6. Writing your first VBA macro through your VBA editor using functions, using module. So here we are not going to record a macro, however, we will write a macro. Uh, typically, you will write program, a, a bit of coding here, and then execute that macro. You may even assign it to a, a shape or a button and then execute it, similarly how we have done in the previous sessions. And before we continue, do not forget to subscribe this channel if you have not done it yet. So I do not want you guys to miss any of my videos. So having said that, let's move on to today's topic. First thing, writing your first macro. Now, to launch VBA Editor, pretty simple. All of you already know this. So in the menu bar, you'll find Developer. And then in the Custom Ribbon, just click on Visual Basic, the first option. That will open Editor. And also a shortcut key to open this is Alt F11. Okay. This is your Visual Basic editor now left side you'll find all the objects available you may choose any object to write coding on so let's start the a new module here so that we can write our first vba program i'm sure this will be interesting for you so uh, how do we insert a module just click on insert and click on the second sorry third option which says module click here and the new a blank page opens here this is where you will be writing your programming code okay now in this what do we write this is pretty different compared to how we have recorded the macro there you did not have to have any uh, programming skills but here you need to have say around five to ten percent of programming knowledge to start writing a macro through vba editor and they are more consistent than recording macro believe me now moving on to what are the sub uh, and n sub functions for your information what is a function function is nothing but set of statement just three word definition for functions set of statements so which will be writing here through which we can execute certain task uh, take an example every function must start with this sub and must end with end sub just like this and every function must have a name so watch me carefully so i'll write sub so this is my first program so i'll write this as if i rst my first program every function you name you must enclose you must also include this open bracket and close bracket and then press enter uh, automatically ends up picks up so this is the name of the macro and this indicates no parameters open bracket and close bracket indicates there are no parameters we can also pass some parameters if we are calling the function but uh, this is too early for you to uh, know all those however we will be learning those in the examples part at the end of this end of this tutorial now all the coding whatever you write must lie between this sub and end sub and we do write some other uh, features or a program about the sub uh, where we declare certain global variables a bit of programming so do not worry about that i will teach you all those slowly now for this tutorial let us write uh, what is the objective is to write a vba macro saying hello world or hello viewers etc so let me i'll use a message box to accomplish this message box carries a pretty simple syntax msg box message box and once you press space after message box the blue line appears like this which is giving you the prompt to write what exactly you need to fill in to uh, achieve this message box working so watch this index carefully i'll use two double quotes and here i'll say hello youtube viewers 
that's it this is a simplest function having one segment and just one line statement which is a message box says hello youtube viewers you may also check this micro whether it is working correctly or not for the syntax errors by clicking on this a little triangle a green triangle or you may press f5 in keyboard also you may go to run and click on run sub so there are three different ways you can run micro now let us click on this run and see how does it work all of you see this here it says hello youtube viewers which has got a okay here okay button which is by default you don't have to set this by default and you say okay it comes back here so this is running perfectly fine now this is the part of coding you may also like to write some comments on vba when you have 100 lines of code and you don't know which code belongs to what and if you're writing multiple functions the comment line would help you to remember why are you writing this function say if you want to uh, debug that program after 10 15 days it is not so easy for you to recollect what you have done so you can write some words write some or maybe even a paragraph to remember this so comments are very very useful when it comes to uh, programming comments how do we write comments so if i just write comments it won't it won't work so but you need to use a small keyword a small key called the apostrophe which is like this which indicates that line is a comment and all comments are highlighted in highlighted in green color so you know what is actually uh, not being executed this line for your information this line will not be executed when macro calls because of this comment comments are also useful if you want if you do not want that particular line to be executed you can put them in comment and then you can remove the comment whenever you want that to be executed you will be using this and you'll find the the better use of comments when you start practicing it so let me write what comment this is so this is our the first program VBA macro program okay so my macro still runs without having any issues with no errors even though I have a comment line just because the comment line itself is, is not executed just think what happens if I remove this and then start running this have a look at this you get compiler compile error expected expression so it is giving you the error because this line the system is unable to understand because system does not understand every single line unless you use certain keyword which is already programmed within the the software so so it is very good for you to know where to comment and how to use this effectively you do not have to put the end end line for the comment it's just only the the beginning one of first of it that's it that is taken care and let me show you how do we assign this to a, a button so here i have a small button created with the help of insert illustrations and the shape so i picked up a shape and then uh, given a name to this the name is say hello to my viewers so how do we assign all of you should know this by now if you have watched all my other videos so right click on it and then click on assign macro so here you'll find the macro the name you had given so if you remember the name of the function was first and you'll find the function first here you will click on it and then say okay that's it and now if i click this button it should say hello to my viewers hello youtube viewers hi so this is how we write of vba programs through vba editor then recording this and then uh, assign it to a, a button or a shape and have it executed that's it for today's video so that was your video number six the first vba macro to say hello and then uh, the next video we will be learning on how do we debug if there is any error in the vba code for now what you have to do for me is go back home and then start uh, practicing these macros practicing this whatever i taught you today and then come back and watch the next video and we continue from there so do not forget to share this videos with your friends who would like to learn excel and um, also do care about watching my other videos under my playlist uh, videos on how to make money online
there are some simple easy tips to make some uh, handsome passive income at home when you're free time okay so please do subscribe to the channel and support me have a great time ahead